This video is going to show you how to create optimized routes using MapLine. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open a map. So we'll click here on Route Map. So now that our map's open, you'll see that we don't have any pins applied to it. And we'll need those in order to create an optimized route. So we have a few different options to add them. I'm going to add pins from my dataset library. Okay, once the data set library is open, I can choose from one of the data sets that I have. So I'm going to come up here and search for my sales data, and then I'm going to click on that and click OK. Okay, now that I have my pins on the map, in order to create the route, I'm going to come up here to add, and then I'm going to hover over routes, and then select optimized from existing pins. All right, now the first step I have is I need to include all the pins that I want to be a part of the route. So I'm just going to click to draw a shape around each of them. All right, and then I click on the first point to close that shape. So as you can see, here are all the pins that I want included. So then I'm going to click Next. Now I need to select a starting point. So for a starting point, I can either type in an address, I can click on any location on the map, or if I click on a particular pin, that will also work. So I'm going to click here on the Spring Hill pin, and then click Next. Now I have the option to choose a final destination. So this isn't something that's necessary, but if I want to, again, I can do the same three things. I can either enter in an address, I can click on a pin, or I can click on a location on the map. I also have the option to just skip the final destination and that's what we're gonna do so we'll click here on skip okay and now you're gonna see that our route has already been drawn and we have the option to enter in a name so we'll enter in Tennessee route and then I can click here on this button to change the styling of the route so the options that I have are I can change the line color of the actual route and then the opacity and the weight or thickness of the line so I'm going to make it blue, and then we're going to increase the weight to 6, and we'll leave the opacity where it is. Okay, and then once you've named your route and you have the style how you want it, all you need to do is click Done. Okay, and once we've clicked Done, we'll see over here that we now have a route folder in our left-hand sidebar that we can expand. We can see Tennessee Route, so you can have multiple routes, obviously, in the folder. And then within this route, we can expand this and see a list of all the locations that fall within this route as well as the order. We can also click and hold on any of the stops within the route and we can move them if we want to to change the order and if we do so then you'll also notice that here on the map the route will change as well. Then once you have the route exactly how you like it you can click here on the route itself and you'll have a list open up that will show you the directions and also the length of the entire route and how long it will take. And you can also print these directions off. And that's how easy it is to create an optimized route using MapLine.